Hi, Ted. You look well. So do you. How's the new job? Fine. Would you look at us, Joanna? Like any old married couple, having dinner. Would you believe it? Yes. How's Billy? He's good. He's, uh... He had, uh... He had a fall. And he's cut his head and... He has a scar, Joanna, from here to here. And I, I can't help but somehow feel that was my fault. You know, that I could have done something, you know, stopped it. Ted, you can't see it from a distance. Y you can't? And I've seen him. You have? A few times. Sometimes I sit in that cafe across the street and I watch when you take him to school. He looks like a terrific kid. He is. You've been sitting in the coffee shop across from school. You're watching my son. Ted, I'm living back in New York about two months. You've been living here in the city. Ted, this is why I wanted to see you. I want Billy back. Are you out of your mind? You're the one who walked out on him. Ted, you and I, we had a really crappy marriage. Look, don't get defensive, okay? It was probably much as my fault as it was yours, and when I left, I was really screwed up. Joanna, I don't want to hear about this. Look, Ted, let me explain. All my life, I've been somebody's daughter, somebody's wife, somebody else's mother. Then all of a sudden, a 32-year-old, highly neurotic woman who just walked out on her husband and son. So, I thought I'd go to California, as far as I could get. But it wasn't far enough. So, I started to see a shrink, and... I took some time, and I made some changes, and I learned a lot about myself. So, Jazz? Come on, Joanna, I'd really like to know. One thing. One goddamn thing. I've learned I want my son. Joanna, go. Be a mother. Get married. Have kids. Don't get married. Have kids. I don't give a damn. Do whatever you want. Just leave me out of it and leave my baby out of it. Look, Ted, if you can't discuss this rationally... Joanna, go fuck yourself.